Hello guys to another video. Today we're making Among Us in uh, Scratch. And you might be hearing these popping noises because these popping noises because I have a puppet. So I'm going to just pop this around the whole video. Hopefully you like the sounds. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just going to pop it for a little bit. Um, I might do some time lapses. I'm going to show you the animation for the Among Us. So here's him. I'm going to Oh, oh my gosh, I got a new mouse too. It's like really, really fast, it's this one. I got a, like a new mouse. Last time, like the last mouse I had was like, wasn't that fast, but it was okay. Like, this one goes so fast that I can't even show the whole thing. So here he's walking, walking animation. He's just moving his legs. And this is the kill animation. He has a knife, holds it up, then This watch right there, it's hard for me to, yeah, I can just go like this. Oh, that's a perfect shot. It just goes like this, 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 and then so his hands, then that. That's his animation. Um, that's a good pop. Pop, 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 okay. I'm gonna start, so I'm gonna start a time lapse of just like me duplicating it and then just coloring him different. So this time lapse will start in three, uh, I mean, three, two, one. So we got the four characters. Um, um, I've colored four characters um, of Among Us. There's plenty more um, colors, um, but we'll do that later on because the minimum uh, in Among Us, the minimum players you can have is four. You can't have three, two, or one because it's it's not going to be fun if like there's an imposter and there's only one other person well it could be fun if you just do like a chase down but that's not how the game works um because f voting in emergency calls would be like useless um so like the minimum is four players um so we'll add more characters later on but um so we're gonna start coding them now um so we're gonna code this one and then we're gonna duplicate that code into every single one so we're just gonna make them switch the costumes um so i am so this week it's fall break so i'm not going to fifth grade uh anymore by the way i am in fifth grade um i'm like 10 years old um but i go to like but school is like over now because it's like fall we have like two break um two week break for fall break um i'm making an episode of cool kid um for um for a halloween special and a um and a christmas special Hello, <clears throat> I came back from lunch time. Um, I had some apples, so yum yum en energy. So I'm gonna make it. So so we're gonna make the Among Us characters move. It's like. Pick them move up or move down and right and left. So 
So I'm gonna do time lapse three and three, two, one. So <clears throat> right here, um, this is all the kind of trying to make your characters moving. So as you see here, when I click the flag forever, if key up, Y up by 10, then down, uh, change Y by minus M, right arrow, um, move this way, and then left arrow, move this way. So it's just like this. So as you can see, let me start the project up. We can move these arrow keys and they move. But we don't. So we want them all to move. So we gotta pick one character. All the others will be bots. Not all of them move. I, I duplicated all of them to different places, but we're actually going to take this away from the other characters, but you'll be, but the red one is going to be your character. I can move around. Let's move these back. So, where did that AI test uh so in one of my videos, I did this, I started on this project, it was called like, um, sorry, a hiccup there. Um, sorry for the hiccup. Um, um, so there's like, I made this game where like, <clears throat> this thing chases after you with, using advanced AI, so I think I'm gonna steal the code from that game that I made. So, this is totally illegal, it's my game, so I can steal the code, and I won't get arrested. Okay, I'm gonna just steal that code. Let's go down. So I have a lot of projects here. Try to find it. A lot of, a lot of projects. Actually, I need to delete this. <laughs> delete that. Oh, there it is. So we got this chasing player AI test. So you guys might remember this. So that's that this guy right here is the enemy and he'll chase after you if you get in his place, like if he gets in your sight. So how this works is like you might have seen the video, but just to recap, so there's an invisible circle around him, and if you enter and if your player, which is right there, if you enter that circle, then he will start chasing after you. So look, he'll start chasing after you and you'll try to get out of his space, then he'll stop. See, he stopped uh, chasing me because I got out of his circle. Then when I get back in, he get starts chasing me again. And he stopped. So that is the code I made. So I'm just gonna do this. So this is the invisible circle. I made it so it's invisible with the ghost effect. Um, so we're gonna open up our backpack, put this in and then put this in. Then we're gonna go back to the Among Us. And we're gonna use some of that AI. Not like, we're gonna use that for imposter mode but for <clears throat> like so we're just gonna add that AI to all of this so we're just gonna put that there then this there 
Oops, I did not add that in. There we go. So we are. So we're gonna put all of these and duplicate them into every sprite except um, the red one because that is your character. So there's not actually a lot of code. I remember putting a lot of code into this. Oh, maybe I just put more code into the... So let's make sure all of it is there. Go. So you got that. So they'll be like that. I'm going to delete this sprite now because we don't need that. So it's just the Among Us characters that do that now. They'll chase us around. So they all spawn in random places. Okay, I, d I think why this isn't working is because this needs to follow so we need to make this sprite one sprite one then hurry go to sprite two and then we're gonna actually gonna duplicate that and make this sprite three then sprite four sprite Wait, that actually might be enough, yeah. We don't need Sprite 5 one. Um, so let's see if that works. Yes, it does work, so. Wait, going away from me. So they run away from me instead of come for me for some reason. I did not code it like this. Hmm. Understand this. Message one. Wait. So, oh, if. So, what would it be if we take two point five steps? Oh. Maybe because the scene, so let's test if the scene thing actually works. Like if they can see, so yes, they can see you. They don't see you. They do see you. Okay, so if the scene thing number turns to one, then that means they can see you. But if it's zero, it can't, so. So they run away from you. I'm gonna figure this out. That kind of might work better. It's so like X10. X10. And X10. Instead of 2.5. Then let's go. So like, oh, they do come for me now. 
but it's too so I was trying to make a script where one of them is an imposter. So let's make a new uh, sprite. I choose that chooses which one is imposter. So I'll make Player one imposter, then player two imposter, then player. Three imposter, and player four imposter, I made it player on, but that's okay. Um, so when start, we want to make it player one. We want it to make it random to zero or one once you instantly start the game. You'll do this with all the other ones. So I'll apply all of those. So we'll see what happens. There are multiple, so sometimes there are multiple imposters. So we don't, so we only want two imposters. I guess we can add more characters. We are going to add more characters, so I guess we can keep this function for now. It's okay if we keep it like this. Um, but we're going to continue on this later. So this is what I have so far. Episode 1. So thank you for watching. Um, watch the next video. Goodbye.